What's up, everybody? Welcome back to Team Fish Knuckles YouTube channel. Today is Expanded Thursday. And today we're looking at a Dark slash Desknor deck, an Evatol slash Desknor deck, whatever you want to call it. It's a Evatol Darkrai slash Desknor deck. Now, I want to give a big shout out to Mia. If you don't know, Mia Violet has been piloting this deck for the whole city's marathon or whole city's tournament uh, wise. She's had over, she's gotten 190 points if I remember correctly. Which means she's got three first and a second. And a couple weeks ago, we actually had Mia on the show. She talked about the deck a little bit, but didn't want to release the list just then because, you know, there's more, some more CDs coming up and she didn't want to release it. But all of her CDs are done. She's not going to anymore. So she released the list open to the public. So shout out to Mia. And I promise, like, Mia has probably over 1,500 championship points in Evatol Dark. Dustnor, maybe Dark Ride Dustnor, and a Dark Dustnor deck, I promise she has over 1,500 championship points. So, I promise she knows what she's talking about when she made this list. She's probably the best Dustnor player in the world, uh, probably ever. Um, so, just make sure when you see this list, this is probably the best list you can get. Uh, probably some, like, maybe one or two cards you could change, but this is definitely a great list. And once again, shout out to Mia for letting us have the list. Well, not us, she just released it to the open, open to public. So that's great for her to do that. But let's go over the deck and I'll start uh, I'll stop rant ranting on about Mia and how great she is. Alright, so let's see. Well, in this deck, you have your basic attackers. You know, you have Eva Tall EX with Eva Ball, 20 plus 20 for each energy on the, each active Pokemon. Y Cyclone, 90, moving energy from this Pokemon to your bench Pokemon. You have Darkrai with Night Spear, 90 and 30 to a bench Pokemon. And all your Pokemon that have any Dark Energy on have, have no a no Tree cost. Those are very staple cards in Evitol decks. But, you know, some decks do have Evitol. I think most all have an Evitol. Some play 1, some play 3 to 4. But it has Oblivion Wing. Attach a, basic, attach a Dark Energy card from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Just to help you accelerate energies. It's a very, very good attacker. And then... Mia also played the Evatol, so it has the ability Fright Knight. As long as this Pokemon is your active Pokemon, each Pokemon tool card in play has no effect. That means Muscle Bands don't work, Pulse Stones don't, wait, Pulse Stones don't work. But don't get me wrong, you can still rush in with Keldeo. It's just that Pulse Stone doesn't work on the Keldeo to get Free Retreat coming back out of the active spot, so it's something interesting. But the cool thing about this card, it also has Pitch Black Spear. It does 60 and 60 damage to one of your opponent's bench Pokemon EX. Now, this is just like a Night Spear, like Darkrai, which is 90 and 30. But this one is 60 and 60. Oh, wrong, Evatol. 60 and 60. And that's still very, very good. It only needs a Dark and a DCE. So you get Dark Patch and Touch DCE in one turn to start swinging with it. While Darkrai needs two Dark Energies and an and a Energy Attachment. So it's very... Different that way. Uh, so, you know, you have your two Evatols, your Dark Rider, and Evatol as your attackers. Now, of course, you play Shaman in the deck to help set up to draw TF6 cards in your hand. And she plays one Drachi as well for Stardust. You discard a special energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon if you do. Prevent all effects of attacks, including damage done to this Pokemon during your opponent's next turn. And Mia said, like, 95, 90 to 95% of all decks play special energy, so why not play the Drachi, which I, it's a great answer, and uh, it does help beat a lot of decks in the format right now, and she does play one Keldeo EX as well with Russian, you can switch Pokemon with your active Pokemon, you can stop a Dark Energy on it, so it has free retreat, and she also does play Floodstone as well to give it free retreat. Now, we've talked about Evatol, we've seen that pretty much everywhere, but the secret to her deck is this 2-2-2 Dustnor line, there's no rare candy, she is going to, she plans to manually evolve into Dustnor and win that way. And don't worry, it is a great strategy and it does work. Um, let's say, for some reason, you get out of Dusclops. Like, turn two, you get out of the Dusclops. And you have an Evatol swinging in the act spot. Well, now your opponent's in a weird position because they can either knock out Evatol or they can knock out Dusclops. Cops. And most of the time, they're going to try to knock out Evatol Yax. They're not going to really care about this Dust Clops. And if they do that, next turn you get the Dust Nor, And then you can start using Sinister Hand to move around damage counters on your opponent's side of the field in any way you want to. Which is amazing. You can manipulate the damage and basically knock out whoever you want, like, whoever you want, whenever you want, during your opponent's side of the field, which is great. And that's why Dust Nor is in the deck. Now you're going to notice in this deck, there's no lasers, there's no muscle band, there's no Verbanks. 
She's just going to slowly put a lot of damage on your side of the field and then use Dust North to win the game. That's her plan, and it does work, obviously. Like I said, she's won three cities and gotten a second. And that's all the Pokemon in the deck. Uh, she's played two Battle Compressor. Discard three cards from your disc discard three cards from your deck. Alright. Four Dark Patch, which makes it, it it's the reason why Demetal is so good, uh, so great and expanded. Attach a basic dark energy from your discard pile to one of your bench dark Pokemon. Uh, fairly straightforward. Power up your dark rise and or Evitals out of nowhere. One Dowson Machine. And usually when people play A specs, they play computer search, but Mia loves Dowson Machine. It says discard two cards from your hand. Put a trade card from your discard pile into your hand. Now, usually computer search starts out of your deck, but with Dallas Machine, you can reuse some crucial cards. Like maybe you can reuse Dark Patch, maybe you use Paint Roller, Assault Vest, anything with uh, Dallas Machine is great. Now, speaking of Paint Roller, Mia does play a Paint Roller in her deck, and it says discard any statement card to play, then draw a card. Now, some people might be confused. Like, why does she play this? Well, she gave a really, really good reasoning. So let's say. You're playing Parallel City. You already have one out. Um, you have it set like this way. What well, you can use Paint Roller and then flip the Parallel City the other way and put it down because let's say you have a Parallel City. Um, then like let's say you put down Parallel City and then your opponent goes and then back into your turn and you want to flip the Parallel City. Well, the only way you can is by using Paint Roller and then put down Parallel City because you can't counter a Parallel City with a Parallel City even though if it's already changed. Because it's still a parallel city while out in the field. Hopefully that's not too confusing. Uh, basically in Pokemon, you can't replace a stadium with the same name. Even though it would be facing a different way, you can't do that in Pokemon. And uh, you also can't play two stadiums down in your same turn. So that's two things you have to know about stadium cards. If you didn't know that, that's something big you should know about. Uh, so that's why she plays Paint Roller. So she can basically like switch to parallel city if she needs to. And let's say you play against Giratina and they use Chaos Will. Well, Chaos Will makes it where you can't put down another stadium, so you could Paint Roller discard a stadium card as, as well. Um, play one Super Rod, get three combination of Pokemon and energy cards. One Tool Scrapper, discard two Pokemon tools attached to your Pokemon in play, both yours or your opponent's, and discard them. So you could discard tools off your Pokemon, like maybe Headringers or Jaminets, or maybe you want to discard Assault Vest for some reason. Or you can just discard two tools on your opponent's side of the field, or one one each. It's up to you. Uh, that's why Tool Scrapper is great. Four Ultra Ball, four VS Seeker, one Chorus, so we know what these cards do. One Getsis, uh, your opponent reveals his or her hand and shuffles all item cards found there into his or her deck. Then draw a number of cards equal to the number of item cards your opponent shuffled into his or her deck. Now, this card is great turn one against like Seismito decks because they play a lot of item cards against Vespa Queen. Against Night March, against Blastoise. If you get the turn one gets this, you pretty much just like shut them down turn one because they don't have all those item cards in their hand unless they like top deck a Juniper or something, then they can easily get back into the game. One Lysander, two in, four Sycamore, one team flare grunt, discarding energy attached to your opponent's active Pokemon, two parallel city, and she opted to play this instead of Shadow Circle. She did have it at one point to help out against Manetric, but Manetric is no, not really anywhere in Expanded. And even then, you can just attack with Darkrai instead. Two Assault Vest, and this is just to help out against Night March even more. Against Night March, you want to attack with, you want to attack with Darkrai. It has resistance to Mew EX, which is minus 20. And if you don't know, in Expanded, um, Night March players attack with Mew because it can, attack, it, it can copy any Pokemon's attacks on the field. So you want to attack with Dark Rise, so you have minus 20 with Mew, and then you have minus 40 with the Salt Vest if there's a special energy attached to it. So it's minus 60 on a Dark Rise. So now they have to hit 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. They have to hit 240 damage on a Dark Rise to knock it out if they have a special energy, which is great. One Floatstone to give the Keldeo free retreat, 4 DC, and 7 Dark Energies. Now, I've rambled on a lot about this deck. Uh, if you have any questions about the list, let me know. Mia has explained a lot about it, and I've tried my best to basically, you know, tell you what she has said in the comments of uh, Burbank. So I'm trying to tell you, you know, all the answers, all the questions that you might have and give you answers back to it. If you have any more questions about the deck, let me know. I'll tell you exactly what she'll say. I, am, I know Mia a lot, and I could just, I could just like, send her her message when you do have a comment, or I can just let her know that somebody has asked the question on the YouTube video. But thanks for watching, and let's see the deck in action. 
All right, we're pretty against Die Runo. I guess that's how you say his name. Playing multiple different types. I know I saw a dragon and a color, uh, uh, water. I'm not sure what that is, but we lost the coin flip, so they'll be able to go first. What's something that plays dragon and water? I am not sure. I would just assume that the water would be a Keldeo. Uh, we mulligan, showing that we have Douse Machine, a Super Rod. Battle Compressor, not so much techie, but definitely the. Uh, the Douse Machine and the Super Rod. Well, not even Super Rod anymore. That's that's silly of me to say. All right. Well, we get a whole new hand, and uh, we get an Evital, and it's wow. This hand's kind of bad. All right, but we'll see what happens. Let's see what our opponent is playing. It could be anything. Uh, they're going to stack something, and there's a Toad. Oh no, a good old Toad. Uh, okay, we see a Verbeck City Gym coming down. We see a Hypno Toxic Laser going to try to put us asleep. Is this a, a Size Toad Giratina deck? That's what I guess it is. Uh, DC going on to the Toad. And a Muscle Band going on the Toad as well. But uh, the, the Muscle Band actually doesn't work because of Fright Night, so that's good. And on our turn, we top deck a Dark Patch. Uh, we could put down a Parallel City, and we will make it... Yes, that way. I uh, will make it where they have... Well, we could have made it where they had less, uh, do less damage, but I actually want to kind of fill our bench up right now. We don't really have anything, so we'll get a Shaman. We'll put a DC on the active, and they'll play Shave Drawn 4. Yes, 1, 2, 3, 4. Uh, we get down a Jirachi, we get down a Duskull. The question is, do we play the Sycamore, I mean, do we play the other Shaman or not? I'm not going to. I'm just going to stick more discard your hand, draw seven new cards. And we're looking for a Caldeo. Uh, we don't get one. We get a Dark Ride, though. Um, well, I was hoping to get a Caldeo so we could retreat. What we could do is we could Battle Compressor. And with the Compressor, we could discard. Uh, let's discard a... We already have a Sycamore in the discard pile, correct? Yes, we do. Okay. So we'll discard an N. Um, and that'll probably be it. I kind of want to keep everything else in the deck, uh, because we can't Dark Patch for this turn, and we have Team Flare Ground for the following turn, so we'll grab the end, and what we'll do is we'll play this Super Rod to get back in the Dusk, the dusk Ops line, because that's pretty, like, gone right now. We kind of need that back into the deck. So we'll get these three guys. Uh, sorry, Shane, you have to stay in the discard pile. Uh, well, Verse Seeker grabbing a... Uh, we'll grab an... Uh... A Sycamore. He didn't play a supporter last turn, so maybe he won't have this turn. And we'll just end our turn taking 10 damage. But Quake Punch will only do 30 damage because of the Fright Knight making aware no tolls have effect. So the Muscle Man will not do any damage. Alright, now to our turn. Uh, or his turn. We see an Ultra Ball discarding a Flare Grunt. Or not Flare Grunt, a Headringer and a Megaphone. And this will probably get out of Shaman or oh, Hoopa. Okay. And with this Hoopa, he's going to be limited to only three spots. We see a Keldeo, and he's only allowed to get one Pokemon. Uh, he'll probably just get a Shaman. Unless he already has a Verbeck in hand. There's a Shaman. And that's going to be it. Yep, Shaman going to draw up to five. And let's see what he gets. Uh, hopefully nothing. Let's hope. Uh, but regardless, we can Team Flare Grunt, discard that DCE, and then we can use Fright Knight, and, or not Fright Knight, we can use the Pitch Black Spear, do 60, and probably put 60 on the Keldeo. I doubt he'll ever tr try, to, well, he could Super Scoop it up, um, but if he hits Super Scoop up heads, he'll automatically pick up Shaman to reuse it, but if he's using heads to pick up a damaged Keldeo, I'm fine with that. We see a Lysander, probably bring it up to Jirachi, and yeah, he's going to try to knock it up before we start using Stardust. And let's see if he goes for a Quaked Punch or not. Uh, there's a Crush Neighbor trying to discard the DCE Tails. Alrighty. And there's a Quaked Punch doing 50. And on to our turn. Alright. Well, regardless, we have a Flare Grunt. Or we could play a Dark Energy and play an N. No, let's play the Team Flare Grunt. Discard the DCE. We'll attach a Dark Energy to Jirachi. And then we'll... Oh, man, it's such a weird. We should have probably played N or Sycamore. And uh, we'll just, uh, bleh, I don't know what to do. All right, we'll set up Dark. Uh, I wish we had a Keldeo on the bench. That'd be a lot better, because we can just rush in and retreat. We'll just send in Evil Tall. That seems fine. Yep, and we end our turn. Uh, regardless, the DC stays, or the Dark Energy stays on Jirachi. 
Maybe we should have sent him Darkrai? Uh, not sure. Uh, they received a Vermic City Jail coming down, bumping the Parallel City, making it where he got five cards. They received a DC going out to the active. We see an Ultra Ball, discarding a Flare Grunt and a... Um, not sure what the other card was. A Crush Namer. And we see a Shebe. We might see Shebe drawn up to six. And I imagine my opponent is probably looking for a Verse Seeker for Lysen to bring up the Jirachi to knock it out. Uh, but there's a Verse Seeker. Gonna grab this uh, Lysander to bring up this Jirachi, like I said. Now, he's gonna knock out the Jirachi. Stardust is gonna be gone. Maybe we should have used the last turn. There's, I mean, he still could have used a laser to knock us out. Uh, but yeah, we'll see a Quake of Punch. I probably should have put the, down the Jirachi so early. That was probably a mistake on my part. But, opponent goes down to five prize cards. We'll set up Evitol, and he'll still have to deal with this Evitol regardless. And on our turn, uh, we get a Dark Energy on the Evitol. And we're actually going to get this, and let's see what's in our opponent's hand. Oh, one, two, three, four, five, six. Alright, we'll take it. All six cards being shuffled in our opponent's deck, and we get six new cards. We'll put down a Dusclops, we'll put down an Evital EX, and we will use Hitch Black Spear doing 60 and 60 to the Keldeo. Like I said, that way we can have, uh, if he decides to super super up the Keldeo, or super scoop up the Keldeo, he's basically just picking up the damage. While as you put on the Shaman, he's going to pick up, um, oh, there's super scoop up, let's see, okay, heads. And like I said, he can pick up a Shaman regardless, and there's, of course, he gets heads on a Shaman to pick it up, but now, um... Next turn, we can put a Dark Energy on the Evitol. We can do Pitch Black Spear, do 60-60. Start powering up Evitol EX. Maybe get out a uh, Dusk Dusknor next turn. We have a lot of different options to put ourselves in the win. And there's Super Scoop Up Heads. And he picks up the Shaman once again. So you see why I put the 60 damage on the Keldeo and not on the Shaman. Like, he could have picked it up right there. Uh, there we see a Shadow Tried, probably getting out a Laser. Uh, okay, I just wish we had, like I said, I wish we had Keldeo. Uh, there's a Hypnotoxic Laser. Let's see, are we going to be asleep or awake? And we do fall asleep right now. But we can still, you know, play card. And there we see a Computer Search coming down, discarding a Floatstone or something else. And let's see where our opponent gets. Um, not sure what they'll get. Oh, a Hand Stammer. There we go. Discarding the DC off the Evital. And then we see Shaman drawn up to six. My opponent's had a phenomenal turn uh, so far. <sighs> okay. So, we see a Quake Punch for just 30, and then the Poison 60, so up to 70, or up to 100, sorry. And we stay asleep as well. Alright, on to our turn, let's see what happens. Uh, we top deck a Paint Roller. Hmm, we have one, two, three. We're just going to Sycamore. I know that's a lot of resources we're burning, but we kind of need it. We need to draw into some more stuff. And, oh, buddy. Alright, well, we can play down the Parallel City. Okay. And we're actually going to flip it, and with this, we're going to discard our Shaman EX. Yes, that seems fine. And we'll discard our Shaman EX, like I said. And now his Quick Punch will only do 10 damage. And that makes it where Evitol doesn't even get knocked out, come back into our turn. Because uh, 10, no, then, then it does. Yeah, it does. Okay. Well, we'll just end our turn. Poison will take 10. And now my opponent's Quaker Punch won't do so much damage. And of course, we wake up. But regardless, uh, it didn't really matter if we woke up or not. And on to our opponent's turn. Let's see what happens. There's a Crushing Hammer. Head's going to discard the Dark off the act, the bench. Sorry, off the bench. Uh, Evil Tall Yex. And we see a Quaker Punch uh, doing 10. And then with the Poison, 10 will knock us out. And here, we're probably just going to send it the Dark Eye EX. Opponent went down to four prize cards. We'll send it the Dark Eye EX. And let's see what happens. On to our turn. Uh, we get a Dowson Machine. We're just going to Sycamore, discard our hand, draw seven new cards. And let's see what happens. We get down to Dusnor. Okay, that's, that's start number one. Huh, and what to do here? We could knock out a, a Shaman EX right now. Um, but what does that do? I'm not 100% sure is a thing. Okay, let's think about this. I think... We put down Evital, maybe Evital, put down a Dark Energy on it, and we'll just pass. Now, Quick Punch will still do 30 damage with Parallel City being negated on his side. So that's something to note. How many Super Scoop Ups has he played? I think it's just two, right? Yeah, just two Super Scoop Ups. Oh, here comes Super Scoop Up number three. Heads, I think my opponent has been 100% 
all these super scoop ups. Last turn, I probably should have moved around the damage counters from the Pokemon since we had Dust Nor play. That was something silly, and I just didn't do it. I uh, will see a Giratina come down, a Double Dragon Energy come down as well, and we'll probably see just a Quake Punch for 50. Yep, Quake Punch for oh 30 because of the the Parallel City. All right, on to our turn. Uh, we talked to the DC, so sadly we have to put the DC on this guy. We will treat into the Evital, and now we're gonna move the damage counters around. I should have did this last turn, but I didn't. We'll put one on each Pokemon. Like I said, I'm not sh not sure why I didn't last turn. I, I just kind of forgot. Uh, we still would have had like a hundred damage in play, but right now we only have sixty. Uh, so right now we're just moving the damage counters around, and I'm actually gonna move two onto the Giratina because we're gonna Oblivion for thirty. Yeah, so we'll do that one more time and one onto the Keldeo. I know uh, Dust Nord is not the most fun thing to watch right now. We'll press done and then we'll do a Blivin Wing. I'll do 30 damage and then we can attach a Dark Energy from a Discard Pile onto the Evital EX. Now, the thing we're going to have to worry about next turn is if my opponent has a Double Dragon and or a DCE with a Laser Verbink. Uh, they receive Hypnotoxic Laser, Heads, Evital EX. Evital falls asleep. We see a Juniper from my opponent discarding his hand, drawing seven new cards. And let's see what do they get. Uh, we see a Crushing Hammer, Tails. I think that's the first time they flip Tails. It feels like it. I feel like they've been uh, flipping heads all day. We see a Quake Punch doing 30 damage. And let's see, do we wake up or not? Come on, Evital, wake up, buddy. And we do wake up. All right, so now we have a decision to make. Uh, do we go? Do we go aggressive or not? One, two, three, four, five, six. 120, 150, 160, 170, 80. We could knock out Size Toad EX right now, but I don't think that's a good play. We're just going to put a DC on Evital EX, and we're just going to, uh, uh, once again, move the damage around with Dustnor. We'll move one onto the Hoopa, one onto the Keldeo, and then one onto the Giratina. Yeah, that seems fine. And then we will just use a Blivin Wing, press done. And yeah, we'll do Blue Wing for 30. And we'll put another energy on Evital EX. Yes. Alright. So we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 energies on our Evital EX. Uh, Poison kicks in. I think they played 3 lasers so far. 1. No, just 2. They've used a, a Shadow Try. That's what it was. And they received Colors. Going to get 9 cards from it. And let's see. They're probably looking for a Verbank City Gem, is what I imagine. But what I'm trying to do right now is actually knock out this Giratini X if he does attack with it. And it looks like he's actually going to go aggressive this turn and attack with the Giratini X. And I'm actually fine with this. Um, so he's going to knock us out Chaos Will. But we can manipulate the damage and knock out the Giratini this turn. There's a Silent Lab coming down into play. But that's not that big of a deal regardless. Um, but now we have a... Okay, uh, I know, I know. Well, I don't know why a Discard Pile popped up. But now we have a lot of options we could we do. We'll set up Evital X, of course. We will, let's see, well, first off, let's use Dark Patch. Do we use Dark Patch right now? Let's see. We've already played our Das Machine. Is our, our Super Rod's gone too, right? I think it's gone. Yeah, Super Rod's gone as well. We have a Team Flare Grunt. We have, let's see, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 10, we have 120 damage in play. I'm actually just going, well, if we call we my deck out. Mm -hmm. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to Burst Seeker for a Team Flare Grunt. And we're going to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We're going to Dustnor. Move the damage off this guy. Uh, move it on to a Toad. And then move it on to Hoopa. Then move another one to Hoopa. Okay. And then we'll use a Dark Patch. Is done and put on the dark ride just in case they do light centers up. I will be okay. So put a dark energy on the dark ride one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Yeah, we can just Y Cyclone. Um, gonna do 90 damage. Oh no, I didn't mean to Y Cyclone. I meant to uh, Evil Ball. Whoops, and we'll put a dark energy on the oops. I meant to <laughs> I meant to Evil Ball to knock out the Giratina. That's a mistake on my part, but maybe maybe it'll be okay. We'll see what happens. We see a muscle band going down to the Giratina. We see a Hypnotoxic Laser. Uh, heads, we go to sleep. Oh, man. Oh, man, I messed up. Okay, we see a Verse Seeker. Let's see what they decide to get. A Chorus, alrighty. 
they might deck out though. They're they're really they're really low on like on cards right now. Hmm. And they see okay. Vermic City Jump comes down, which is great for us. All right, I like that play. And there's a Headringer coming down as well. I'm not really concerned about that. And we see a Chaos Well doing 120 damage with Poison, 150. And we wake up. All right, so we should be able to win this turn. 9, uh, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Hmm. All right, so what we're going to do is we're going to Chorus. Yes, I think we're going to Colors. Hold on, hold on, hold on. 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. Uh, we're short. All right, so what we're going to do is let's... 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11... I know, I'm sorry, Kami. Okay, so what we'll do is we'll use Dustnor, and we'll actually knock out this Toad. Hmm. Not sure how to do this. Such a weird scenario. Like, I want to take double knockout with Dark with Darkrai, but we can't do that. Uh, so we'll do this. And we'll do this. Keep on going. And seven. Eight. Nine. And turn. <sighs> okay, we'll just keep on going. Yeah, I think we're gonna take a knockout on the toad, and then we'll knock out the Giratina as well. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Yeah, that should be okay. And then we'll move damage off here. Man, I'm probably messing this up all over the place though. I'm not even gonna lie to you. I'll uh, do that. Keep on going. Oh, we need to find we need to find another attacker too, because this this Evital is gonna get knocked out from poison. Hmm. Alright, we'll keep on going. 160, 170, and 180. Okay. So take a knockout there. Taking two prize cards. There's a dark patch and a lysander. Okay. So we can light we get dark patch, put a dark energy on the dark eye. And I think we're going to, uh, four, five, six, we're going to Chorus, and let's see what happens. Alright, alright, let's see what happens. Okay, cool, so we got a, a Keldeo, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, a Dark Energy, we can rush in, oh, we can't White Cyclone, though, hmm, well, that's fine, okay, so we'll Tool Scrapper, get rid of the Floatstone. Well, stone and that, sure. Uh, yes. Here are both of those. Oh no! What happened? What happened? Why didn't they get discarded? Uh, I messed up somehow. All right. Well, let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're doing 140, and which is an exact knockout. So yeah, we'll evil ball, knock out the Giratina. Oh wait, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh man, I messed up there. We could have kept some damage. Oh, well. All right. Well, messed up. All right. Let's see what my opponent could do. We see a Kelda come up. Man, full of misplays. We could have moved the damage off. And the next turn, knocked out a Shaman EX. We see a Toad coming down as well. We see a Giratina coming down. But do they even have... Okay, there's a Double Dragon Energy. A Hypnotosic Laser. Uh, the, and then the Evil Talia get knocked out. Ooh, man. Okay, so we're going to end down to two. And we need to top deck one of those energies. That's not, that's not an energy, okay? Uh, so we get knocked out. Oh, okay, okay. All right, all right, all right. We need to think about this. We'll go down to one prize card. We'll send it to Caldeo. And we need to top deck something. That's not what we needed to top deck. All right, well, we'll put a Salt Vest on the Dark Rye. Salt Vest on the Dust Nor. We will retreat. Into the Dusk Nor, and we will. How many lasers have they played? <laughs> oh, why did I discard the, the Flow Stone? There's so many misplays. Alright, you know, we're just gonna rush in. Oh, but if he plays a laser, we stay asleep, then we might lose as well. 
Alright, we'll be fine. We'll end our turn. We have Assault Vest. That'll save us. Hopefully. Probably not. We'll see what happens today on Pokemon.com. Uh, man, so nerve-wracking. Here comes a Giratina coming up. And there's a Double Dragon Energy. And they receive a Chaos Will. Doing 60. Okay. Okay. What do we top deck? A Battle Compressor. That's not what we needed. Alright, great. Uh, we'll Battle Compressor. And we will discard a Dust Skull. Discard a Floatstone. Uh, discard a Dust Nor. Oh, buddy. Oh, man. Alright, well, we'll discard those three. We will rush in with Keldeo. And then we'll end our turn. Okay, fair enough. We just need to hit the Dark Energy or the DCE. Actually, my opponent has nothing left in their deck. They could just deck out right now. Oh, my goodness. Let's see what happens. Do they have another in? Do they have a Lysander Laser? Do they have a Lysander Muscle Band? Will we win on a deck out? Who knows? Find out today on Pokemon. Oh my goodness. We are full of misplays, but we're making it happen. I am not the best with Evatol Dustnor, as you find out today, but it's okay. Oh man. Oh, there's a first Seeker. Let's see what he goes for. Does he go for an N? Alright, he, ha he has to go for an N. That's like his only option. So we see an N. Alright. Alright, the question is, how many verse Seekers... Okay, what? there's an N. How many verse Seekers has he played? One. Two. He's played two? Oh, no. All right, so Chaos Wolf for 100. And on to our turn. There's a Team Flare Grunt, top deck of the century. We can discard a Double Dragon Energy. We can retreat the Keldeo. And then we can use Night Spear, do a 90 and 30. And we'll just put it on a, on a Toad. Sure, take that Toad. Oh, man, let's see. Does he have a way to win next turn? Did our misplays? Oh, man, I'm so scared right now. There's a super scoop up. Tens, oh no. Oh, he picks up the Giratina. Don't do this. All right, sends up the Hoopa. Okay, fair enough. There's a Giratina coming down. A double dragon energy. And our turn. Do we top deck Lysander? That's not what we needed. But still, we can do Night Spear 90 and 30 to the Giratina. Oh, man, if we had a Lysander, we could have knocked out a Shaman because we could have Lysander up, move the 30, and do 120 that way. Let's see, what does he have now? Does he have a Lysander and a Double Dragon Energy in his hand right now? That's his only outs, a Lysander and Double Dragon Energy. There's an AZ picking up the Hoopa. Please stop the madness. Sends up Keldeo. Oh, man. oh he's actually trying to deck us out. I see what he's doing. We're going to deck out before he does. Oh, man, what a dirty... Oh, man. But we should we should still be fine. All right, so Hoopa comes down as well. He just has to he has to have another way to pick up a Pokemon. There's a Hoopa coming up once again. And our turn, do top deck Lysander. And we do. We top deck a Lysander. Bring up Shebae. We can Dustnor. Come on, Dustnor. Sinister Hand. Move the 30 damage up to Shaman. And then we can Night Spear for the knockout. Oh, man. That was a close one. Oh, man. So many heads flips from our opponents. Uh, okay, and we probably misplayed a lot. I know we probably misplayed a lot. But 9, 10, 11, 12, we can use Night Spear, knocking out the Shaman, put a three damage counters on the Giratina, and win the game against the Side Toad Giratina deck. And there we go, taking the victory screen. And let's see, uh, what was the heads to tails ratio? It feels like it was a lot. Let's see, let's go to stats. No, stats. Come on, stats. He was 9 and 4. It felt like he was 103. Like, it didn't seem like he flipped any tells. And oh my goodness, that was a crazy game. Uh, we'll play one more game with the deck. I know this game was like really, really long, but we'll play one more game with the deck. And we'll see the power. I mean, you saw a lot of it that game, but I definitely made some crucial misplays, like for sure. Like, manipulate the damage and forget and manipulate the damage. The very first turn, we got Dustner out in the field. Uh, but there you go. That is probably one of your hardest matchups, Toad Giratina. With crushing hammers and then flipping heads and super scoop ups picking them up and everything like that, it's definitely a rough matchup. But we'll see one more game with the deck here in a second. Alright, we're playing against P. Jinky 4. And it looked like they're playing a Night March deck. I saw some Psychic. And no, we lost the coin flare. Um, I saw some Psychic, some Lightning, some Colors. That just makes me think it's Night March or maybe a Mega Manetric. Um, Mega Magnetic Wobbuffet deck. We'll put down both Duskull, of course. And show me. Oh, a. Oh. 
Okay, uh, so not what I thought. A thunderous Electros Dynamo Double Lysander Chorus and an N. Okay, all right. Well, things got very interesting really quick. I'm not sure what we're playing against, but we'll find out today on Pokemon Land. All right, well, we get a Dark Ride, we get down an Evital, we see a Manetra coming down. So maybe it's like a an Eels, just like with some Lightning Friends. Now, if you don't know, Electric has the same effect like Bronzong, but with Lightning Energies instead of Metal Energies. And now to our turn, let's see what happens. Um, well, nothing that exciting is going to happen. I'll put down Darkrai, we'll put a DC on Darkrai, and I'm actually just going to Sycamore discarding the Evital EX, and the reasoning behind is I don't want to attack with the Evital because it just gets one-shotted by, uh, by Manetrix. So we'll put a Assault Vest on that guy. We'll put down Parallel City, and we'll put it on, we'll put it just like this. Yeah, that's fine. We could reduce the damage they do, but I think this will be fine. And, yep, come on down, Parallel City. That's fine like you are. Make them only have three bench bots. Come on down, Parallel City. There you go. All right. And do we play Super Rod right now? Eh, yeah, let's do it. Super Rod, put it back in. Dust Gops, Energy, and Evital EX. We'll put down Shebe, drawn three cards. Yes. One, two, three. Put down another Dust Noir, and we will just end our turn. We can't... We can, oh, I mean, we really don't need to use payroll regardless. We don't need to use Douse Machine. So we'll just pass. Um, there we see an Enhanced Hammer discarding the DC off the Dark Eye. We see an Eel coming down. Like I said earlier, it has the ability Dynamo. You attach a Lightning Energy from your discard pile to one of your bench Pokemon. Huh. And we're just going to Colors for 6. Yeah. So we'll Colors for 6 and let's see what we get. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that's not what I wanted to get. Uh, we can assault vest this other dark ride. We can play battle compressor, discarding um, a dark energy. A... Okay, we'll discard a dark energy for sure. We'll discard a team flagrant and a getsus. Yes. All right, and then we're going to. Uh, do we just okay? We're gonna Ultra Ball discard a Tool Scrapper and a an Evital. We could save the Tool Scrapper, but we have Dust Machine regardless. And we'll get down to Dust Sclops. And then next turn, we get down the Dust Noir. It'll be a okay. So put down the Dust Sclops, and we will end our turn. We didn't attach any energy this turn, which is great. But my opponent hasn't really done anything either. They kind of just kind of sat there and passed. They played it in and a town map, and they just sat there and just looked, looked pretty. But let's see what happens. Okay. Alright, but we're, like, even though we haven't done anything, we're, like, we're, we're a lot of the way set up. We almost have a Dust Snore out. We have two Dark Rise with some Assault Vest on them. We see a Love Ball. Could either grab a Tynamo or an Electric, and we see an Electric coming down. Alrighty. So, another Electric coming down. And just another pass. Alright, on to our turn. Get down to Evital. Mm. Oh, man. Put him down. Make, it seems, makes things spooky. And we'll play Sycamore. Shikamore, all right, we can. All right, what we can do is put a dark energy here, play a dark patch, get down a dark energy, put it on this guy, put down the. Oh, we already attached return. Well, let's see. Let me see my opponent's discard pile. All right, we'll put down dust cops and we will just end our turn. I forgot we attached to the active. I was like, oh, we'll just attach a DC, but then I forgot we can't double attach. So that's a thing. Uh, we see a Floodstone going down to the Electric. We see a Mewtwo EX coming down. A oh, Weakness Policy and an N. Was my opponent holding that forever? How long was that in his hand? He just had everything all of a sudden. Okay. Hey, Keldio, thanks for showing up, buddy. Uh, we see a, a Lightning Energy going down to Manetric. We see a, a Retreat, and we see an Overrun. And let's see, where does that 20 damage go, is the big question. Where does it go? Um, okay, 20, oh, to both Dust Cops. What a jerk. All right, on to our turn. Let's see, you're weak to Lightning. That's great. I will put down a Dust Cops. We'll put a Dark Energy on this guy. No, we need to put a DCE. What am I talking about? And we'll play in. Okay, we'll play in. 
We'll both get six new cards. Alrighty. Fair enough. Fair enough. Uh, we'll just retreat. And we're actually just going to uh, pitch Black Spear and do six, 60 and 60 to both EXs. And maybe that way we can start sending some knockouts. We have Death Snore. We can start manipulating damage next turn. And it'll make things interesting for sure. Well, let's see what happens with C. Oh, a rough C is coming down. Get heal 30 damage from his lightning, lightning Pokemon. All right. And we see an Ultra Ball discarding some stuff. Now, the thing about this turn is my opponent can only do max 120. If he has a Muscle Man, it doesn't do anything because of the uh, Fright Knight. There we see some Dynamotor going on. It's like an old school Eels deck. And we see, oh my goodness, this Electros. As often as you like during the turn, before you attack, you may move a basic energy attached to your bench Pokemon to your active Pokemon. So they can move this Lightning Energy up to this Manetric X if they want to. And then we see an end. We see an enha another Enhanced Hammer. So two Enhanced, not just one, but two Enhanced Hammers coming down this game. Fair enough. And, alright. We'll have to see what we do this turn. Hmm. Have we played our Dax Machine? I don't think so. Okay, so that's good. Have we discarded a Lysen? Uh, okay, no, we're good. Lysen is in our hand, what I'm talking about. See, a Tynamo... Oh, a Tynamo comes down. We could just knock that out automatically. And an Oh, please give me two Tynamos. Oh, that's electric. Never mind. I was like, please give me two Tynamos. I'll just knock both of them out this turn. Um, because they have 30 HP. We see a Lightning Energy going on to Manetric, but it will not knock us out. It'll only do 120. So that's a thing. I want to our turn. Let's see what happens. A DCE top deck. That's what I'm talking about, kids. Uh, do we have a chorus? We do. All right. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna verse seeker for chorus. Come on down, chorus, and we'll chorus for a bunch. And with this chorus, we need some dark patches. All right. Well, we got a paint roller. We could discard the rough seas. That's something. Oh, there's Dark Patch. Oh, we don't have any Dark Energy to discard pile. Well, Dark... <laughs> well, Ultra Ball discard uh, Dark and a Jirachi. I think Jirachi's pretty much useless right now. And we'll grab a Shame... Or not a Shame, a Keldeo. And if he does knock us out next turn, we can put down the Keldeo. Maybe draw into a Fallout Stone. We'll put a Dark Rai, a dark Patch onto a Dark Rai. We'll use Dusk Nor to knock out this... Uh, this Tynamo. So, one... And two, we'll take a free prize card. We'll definitely want to do this before he evolves into the electric. We know it's in his hand right now. So we'll knock out the Tynamo, because it only has 30 HP. That seems fine. Uh, taking a prize card, any prize card. Going down to five. Hey, there's a Battle Compressor. Um, and then we'll use Sinister Hand, and we'll move the 60 off the Mewtwo onto the other guys. I'll put 30 on each, just in case they play like an AZ or a Super Scoop Up or a Cassius or anything cute. Uh, we don't have to worry about that stuff. So 30 there, and then we'll move 30 from the Mewtwo to the other Electros. Okay. Alright, alright, alright. So 1, 2, and then we'll do Fright Knight, or whatever, Pitch Black Spear. Keep wanting to call it Fright Knight Spear. That'd be a cool attack. Alright, so 30 there, and then we'll use Pitch Black Spear, uh, doing 60 and 60. So we have 120, 30, 40, 50. We have 180 in play for next turn. That's pretty crazy. Alrighty. And by this turn, Evital's going to get knocked out. There's a Lugia coming down as well. So maybe he doesn't know which one he likes. He doesn't know if he likes Mewtwo or Lugia. So he plays both, I guess. I'm not sure. Uh, but looks like we see a Lightning Ninja going to Lugia. We see an N going to disc uh, show our hands to our deck. He's going to get six. We're going to get five. Alrighty. Oh, oh, buddy. This hand is not the best. Oh, my goodness. Another Rough Seas comes down. Oh my goodness. Okay. Alright. Well, there goes a bunch of damage. <laughs> oh, good. And a Mega Manetric comes down. Is he going to Mega Ball? Oh, he, he put a Spirit Link this turn. What is ha- Oh, what? What happened to the Spirit Link? Oh, Friday Night Spear. Ah, oh, get owned. Alright. Alright, our turn. I was like, what happened? Why didn't Why did that work? Alright, so put that there. Have we played Super Rod? We have played Super Rod. Alright, well, this is going to be fine. We'll Compressor, Discard, um, Lysander, a Dark Ultra Ball, and an Ultra Ball. Although these is with one, oh no, we're, we're fine, we're fine. 
We're fine. We need... Oh, man. We don't have another stadium. That's what we really need right now. Alright, so we discard those, and we'll play Sycamore. Okay. Oh, we draw into a Douse Machine. Alright, we're... No, we're still going to do this. We're going to Sinister Hand, move the 30, off the Lugia, onto the new Lugia. One, two, three... All right. Okay. 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 So we did that. We're, that's fine. Press done. And we'll use Kitsch Black Spear. It was 60 and 60 to uh, Lugia. Sure. I probably should have put the 30 onto Mewtwo. And that way they'll have 90 and 60. Uh, oh, they have 90 and 60 regardless. What am I talking about? All right. Was he a Rough Seas? Was he a Juniper? Can we win next turn is my question. I'm not sure. I don't think so. That'd be pretty crazy. I would see a level ball. Getting an electric. Doesn't really matter. We we'll see a battle compressor. Okay. But next turn we can put a dark energy on darker eye. We can maybe life center up an eel. Going down to four price cards. And then we can win the following turn. I think we'll have enough damage regardless to do whatever we want. We we'll see a dynamotor. Going to power somebody. I'm not sure who they're going to go after. Lugia and or Mewtwo. I'm not sure. Uh, Deep Hurricane doesn't knock us out. Mewtwo has, we have resistance to Mewtwo, so we should be okay regardless whoever they decide to put this energy to. Uh, oh man, he's going to Turbo Bowl and put more energies onto somebody. That is going to be cute, I'm not going to lie. I'm excited about that play for next turn. Alright. Or do we just go aggro and knock out the Mewtwo next turn? Hmm, very interesting. What to do? What to do? I'm not sure. Or it could be cute and take all six prize cards in one turn. Or knock out all three EXs in one turn. Oh, we're going to see retreat into the Mewtwo, so we don't even have to use Lysander next turn. That's great. And we'll see an X-Ball doing 20, 40, 60, 80, 100. We see a Lightning Energy going on an Electros, and we see 100 damage from Mr. Mewtwo himself. Alright, so our turn. We'll send up Young Darkrai. Okay. And let's see our turn. What can we do? We'll put a dark energy to start on this guy. No, we're just gonna we're just gonna sinister hand. Move the 30 off this guy onto this guy. One, two. No no no. Okay, what we'll do is we'll move 92 electric. I got a plan. I don't know if it's gonna work. I don't know, I'm thinking. I'm thinking. Don't, don't laugh at me. Alright, no, we'll move it to Electric. We'll knock out the Eel this turn. And then we'll knock out Mewtwo. And that way they can't Energy Accelerate next turn. Yes, that seems like a better idea. Alright, so three, four. Sorry that Death Snore is not fun to watch. Uh, five. Six. And Sharon. Oh, what happened? No, I did, I did it the wrong way. No, no, I did it the wrong way. Stop it, Dustnor. Uh, they need, they need to face Dustnor. This is like crazy how we have to do this. All right, so six. Oh no, no, we can do yeah, we can do six. Leave that there, and then move the ten onto this guy. All right, all right, we're good. We're good like that, right? So six, and then he has thirty HP left, and then we can use Night Spear, do a ninety and thirty, and take a three prize cards. Right? Unless I did the math wrong. Oh, there's only 60 on him. I messed up. I messed up really bad. Alright, we should be fine though, regardless. We should be able to win next turn. We, we should be able to win next turn. Uh, unless he AZs up this Mewtwo. Then I'll cry. Then I'll cry. Because I thought that the 60 was a 90 for some reason. Uh, muscle Band going on a Lugia. We see a, a Lightning Ninja going on Lugia. Now, Deep Hurricane only does 170. Is this as often? You may move a, move a basic. Okay, as often as you like. So, 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, or 20. 140 is the max he could do right now with Lugia. So, I'm not too concerned about it. Or am I? I don't know. I'm not really concerned about it. We should be okay to win, though, regardless. Uh, we'll see what happens. We might see an X-Ball. Uh, but, I mean, we have... When we have 2, 10 in play, and then plus 9, 10, 11, 12. So we might have enough for a knockout. I don't know how much we have. 
two ten in play, and then we can do nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and then we have three forty, which is enough. That's enough exactly. Yeah. So next turn we can win. We can light center, take double knockouts, and we'll be okay. Unless I did the math wrong. Hopefully I did the math wrong. That'd be great. We're just waiting our opponent. Come on. Come on, PG. Oh, he's going to retreat into Mega Manetric. Fine. That's fair enough. We see a Lysander. <gasps> Don't go after Dustnor. Oh, after Shea How dare you? Oh, my goodness. That is a, that's such a mean thing. Why would you hurt our Shaman like that? All right. All righty. Well, all right. Time to find out. Do we have enough damage or not on the field? Let's see. He has 20 HP. 7. Uh, yeah, we should be able to, okay, we should be okay. We'll set up Darkrai. Alright, our turn. Alright, we'll use Sinister Hand. Move six. Five. Wait. No. No, I did the math wrong. No. <laughs> Alright, well. Dang. Okay, we gotta think of something else now. Uh, Okay. I think I think regardless though we sold just like a night spear do 90 how many price cards yes three price cards left we should be fine what well, night spear do 90 and 30 here as long as oh man I didn't even notice this if you put down a bundle bee and an energy we can lose I, I didn't even think about that oh man I hope he drops a bundle bee and an energy and we lose that would make me laugh uh, how much HP? Did we do this wrong? Oh, no, okay. We, I was one damage off. I don't know where I messed up my math. I mean, it's fairly, it's fairly easy for me to mess up my math. Don't worry. But, like I said, as long as he doesn't put down a Bunnel Bee and an Energy, we can win. We have another Dark Dust Nor if he knocks out this one somehow. Oh, uh, he could just Lysander Tower Bolter for a knockout. Um, yeah, he could do that play. But we have another Dust Nor in hand. Uh, we can manipulate the damage. I think we actually can knock out this Mega Manetric as well. But we should be able to win the game. Another energy gun at Lugio. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Ooh, he, he actually could. Oh, man. He can knock us out Lugia right now. Right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. He could. He can knock us out Lugia right now. Oh, do it. Come on, buddy. That's what I'm talking about. Show the power of, of Lugia. Oh, man. I didn't even see this play. We'll, we'll be okay with that. We're still going to win. We have enough resources to overcome this. But that is very scary. <coughs> Actually, you know what? He's going to go crazy with Lugia. I'm going to go crazy with Evitol. So we see an air ball. Going to knock us out. Doing 200 damage. That is crazy. All right. We're going to set up Dark Death North, though. We should be able to win. I mean, we have Evitol. So six, seven. Man, we're gonna do so much damage with Evatol, it's not even gonna be funny. Our turn, we're gonna put down Evatol, put down a DCE, put down a Dark Patch. This is why Evatol is so good. Out of nowhere, we're doing a lot of damage. Oh no! Victory screen comes up. Uh, we're going to Dash Machine for another Dark Patch and have one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five, eleven. We want to do two. 20 to that Luga, but there we go. We see even saw a dark eye dust nor take another victory And I'm sorry that I made so many mistakes with this deck This is my literally my second my like not my second time, but my first day playing the deck So I'm not a hundred percent sure how it works But it's a very very good deck if you have the dust nor out You basically just start like winning the game because you can just manipulate move the damage around any way you wants to and basically you're okay that way, but hopefully you enjoyed this video. Sorry that the video is really long. I know the side story Giratina deck was like 20 minutes and this one was 20 minutes as well. Sorry about that, but I hope you have a great Thursday. Thanks for watching. Shout out once again for Mia for letting us have the list or basically just releasing it to the public. I didn't even ask for it. She kind of just posted it on a, on a website and everybody can see it. So, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day. I hope you have a great Thursday. Make sure to go vote for Fran. Go vote for Fan Friday. Go vote for your favorite deck. Hope you have a great day. Alrighty, bye.